Good morning. Welcome back to Jog Vlog. You say good morning, Ma. You say good morning. <laughs> Right, I've had this song in my head since Saturday. I've been going to sleep with it in my head. I've been waking up with it in my head. And throughout the day, I've just had this song in my head. If you ever watch Eurovision, the story of Fire Saga, I suggest you waste two hours of your life watching it because I, they got it spot on. Like it was just pure Eurovision. On Sunday, I tried to get some kettlebells. I went to two fitness shops. No, I went to decathlon and I went to a fitness shop and literally there's absolutely nothing. Like in decathlon, all of that, the gym area was just completely empty. There was no kettlebells, there was no dumbbells, there was no like, bars there was just absolutely nothing then we went to the fitness i can't remember what it was called like a fitness like gym place nothing no absolutely nothing they had all of like the bikes and like the rowing machines and stuff like that but actual like gym equipment kind of stuff that there was nothing absolutely nothing so if anyone knows where i can buy some kettlebells from i'd really appreciate it because i'm trying to start filming more fitness videos for instagram and also for youtube and i could really do with some kettlebells and there's just nothing, like there's nothing online. There's nothing, it's just nothing. No kettlebells anywhere. And I thought now that things are getting back to normal, there probably, there could be some, but nothing. Still got yah yah ding dong in my head. Like it's just permanently just yah yah ding dong in my head, like all day, every day. But I was thinking of doing like a quick kind of summary on what I think about the Ultra Boost, the Adidas Ultra Boost, because I've had them for like a year and a half now and I thought, I've been thinking recently with buying quite a few new pairs of trainers, would I spend £160 on a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost? And the answer to just get straight to the point is no, I would not pay full price for a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost. Basically last year I was, I was coming from the Nike, the Nike Pegasus 35s I think, and I saw that these were released, I saw that the reviews were really good and after like a few weeks of debating whether or not I could afford them, I ended up just taking the plunge and buying them. I remember trying them on and I thought, oh, like these were the comfiest trainers I've ever had on my feet. And because I was like already injured at that point, I had like really bad ankles. I only managed to get about two or three runs in them before I just gave up running. And I ended up wearing them all the time in the gym. Like they were my go-to gym shoes. And they were really good. Like they were so comfortable in the gym. They did everything I wanted them to do. I could do every exercise I wanted to do them. I could do all my interval training, my hit, like everything. And that's the reason why I ended up buying a new pair this year, because I knew I was getting back into running. I knew that they were comfortable. I knew the reviews were good and they were reduced to 80 pounds. And <laughs> my first few runs, like they were comfortable, didn't really think anything of it. And then I ended up coming across more trainers and it made me look at more reviews of these and what people were saying about them. And I couldn't agree more with what people were saying online. Like people were saying that they're more of like an everyday trainer, they're perfect for walking, but for running, they're just not worth the 160 pounds that like they're being sold for. I think these are probably more designed towards like your easy run days, your recovery run days, because compared to other shoes, they are quite heavy. And I didn't realize that until I did more research and bought new shoes. But for 160 pounds, why would you buy these when you could buy a pair of Nike Infinite Reacts, which are like 30 pounds cheaper, that are more responsive, they're designed to reduce injury, they're more comfortable, and they're just an overall better shoe. So I think to conclude this kind of little, ultra boost review i wouldn't pay 160 pounds on these shoes especially for running they're very comfortable to walk in they're very comfortable like everyday kind of shoe they look good they do feel good but for running these just don't they just don't compare to other running shoes which are actually a lot cheaper i'm trying to keep a little i'm trying to keep more on top of my 
actual editing this week because I've decided that Sunday's video is going to be just a full week of workouts. So everything that I'm doing this week in terms of my new training plan, if it's working for me, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of editing going on this week and to get this video out as well tomorrow, I like, I like to edit on the go. I like to film for like an hour, edit, film for an hour, edit. And that way it just means that I know exactly where I'm up to. And if I need to refilm something or if there's something I forgot to mention, just works well for me. Just got back from doing a 5K walk. I was supposed to be doing like a run or like a cycle today, but after legs, doing legs yesterday, like my legs are sore. So I'm gonna go make a smoothie, do like a little bit of a workout, have some dinner and then try and be productive for the rest of the day. Just finished today's workout. I did film it, but I'm not giving too much away because I'm doing like a weekly workout video kind of thing on Sunday. So I did a 10 minute AMRAP with mobility work and some stretches because my legs are killing me. Um, now I'm gonna have a smoothie, I'm gonna have something to eat and then just crack on with the rest of the day, get some stuff done. And it's kind of hard to film like a daily vlog in lockdown because I'm not working, the weather's awful, and there isn't really too much to do. So this is kind of what my days are looking like at the minute, just trying to fit in workouts, trying to keep busy, trying to keep active, and hopefully just keeping my mental state quite quite positive and just putting everything into making YouTube videos. So, ah, so much to eat. I'm starving. <laughs> So that was just like a plain omelette with water and a smoothie to go with it. Like I'm not adventurous whatsoever when it comes to nutrition or cooking. I just kind of eat what I feel like eating. If I'm eating too much of something, then I'll cut down. It's it's all about moderation. Like I'll have chocolate pretty much every single day. Uh, if I want a bag of crisps, I'll have a bag of crisps. Like I'm just not knowledgeable at all when it comes to eating the right stuff. Like I don't track calories, I don't track macros, I don't do any of that, never have done, never really felt the need to. I was thinking of doing like a what I eat in a day kind of thing, but I just don't think that you're gonna get anything out of it other than the fact that everything is in moderation and if you feel like eating something, don't be too strict on yourself because the stricter you are, I think the worse you'll be because, well, I don't know, that's how my mind works. Anyway, I thought now would be like quite a good opportunity to just go through something that I got for my birthday a few weeks ago from Jack because it's a really cool present and I've been meaning to mention it for a while now, I just keep forgetting and I've not really been able to use it because I've been injured. So, so this is what I opened up on my actual birthday and I thought it was a new pair of trainers. And then I opened it and it was all stuff like this, which I think is just so cool and probably better than a pair of trainers. There was more in it, like there was more chocolate and sweets in it and stuff like that. But these were like the endurance things that I haven't touched yet because I haven't been running. So I love that. I love that after like a long run, especially when it's been warm. Best grenade bar that like, you can get. Like it's just, I could eat. I like, I literally, when I was at the gym, I was eating them every single day. Sport beans. Caffeine gummies, PhD whey bar, protein thing, science in sport energy bar, birthday cake PhD smart bar,
small bars, small protein bars. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here and crack on with all of the boring stuff, which you don't really need to see, like CVs. And... I hope you like the video. I hope you like the more kind of like daily vlog style because I enjoy doing them. I'm just a little bit afraid that there's just not too much in them because there isn't too much to do. But like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.